always makes you relax listening Aww. to the harp, doesn't it? Morning, Catherine. You've moved Morning. on, of course, from you were the first sort of royal harpist of the modern age, yeah. if you like, and now you've moved on to other things. I have. So I was the royal harpist starting in 2000 through to 2004. For four years I did it. But the idea was that the prince wanted to re-establish a tradition that had been dormant for 130 years odd. And then it was to sort of encourage harp and young musicians and Welsh harpists specifically as well. So it's open to young Welsh harpists and it's... They sort of audition. You have to be a Welsh harpist you because it's Prince of Wales. Yes. It's sort of, and it's, it's, I guess it's, just, it's to give a, a young Welsh artist a platform, really. So. Mm. Did he ask for you personally? Well, it was, yeah, it was a little bit. I, I played at his 50th birthday party, actually, and then um, having heard that, uh, he knew of me and decided that it would be nice to... So it wasn't something you had to audition for? No, not, no, I didn't have to audition for it. But now you are involved in helping select... I am, yeah, so I've taken on a sort of role of um, helping the position, I suppose, and making sure it's, it stays alive and giving mm. all these young harpists an opportunity. Your mission in life, though, is to take the harp out to the wider world and yeah. show them it's not sort of stuffy, old-fashioned instrument, but... Because you, you can do some really jazzy things with your harp, can't you? You can, yeah, and I, and I, like, to, I like to play all, all sorts of different kinds of music, you know, and get involved with lo lots of different projects. So it's, it's an instrument that is always categorised a little bit in the miscellaneous block, and <laughs> I like to... Uh, yeah, I, I like to show it for what it what it what it's got and, and what it can do really, which is a lot more than people ever think. Um, the the harp is for parents looking at that between mm. the choice between that and a an electric keyboard for their child will go. Well, the harp's big. It's yeah, sure. Expensive and takes years to learn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, get around it has, that. There's a few things against it to start off with, but it's I guess it's you know it, it's it needs encouragement and it you can rent them little harps obviously they don't come as big as as the one i play they, they come a lot smaller and and there are a lot more opportunities i guess the difficulty with a harp slightly is finding a teacher that can be a problem in, in which area you live in but where i am in wales for example you know there's a copious amount of harps and harpists everywhere so 